Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to take you through my recommended perfume for all different occasions that come up in life and what I think would be the perfect perfume for that occasion. This is something that's been suggested a few times, so thanks for suggesting this idea. If you're new here, then hi, welcome, we're all about perfumes. Check out my hundreds of other videos. I have perfume reviews on all the ones I talk about in this video, comparing them to their ranges, etc. And if you're a regular but you haven't subscribed yet, then do hit that subscribe button and show your support. And as always, I'll leave the links down below in the description box to where you can buy all these perfumes in the UK, Europe and USA. Cool, so I'm gonna start off with an occasion which is like, a daytime visit from the family, hanging out perhaps with your mom, your grandma, something like that. And for this I recommend Estee Lauder's new Beautiful Magnolia. This is such a pretty feminine daytime smell. Mm. We have Beautiful Magnolia of course, hence the name, but also a really fresh peony and it's just a really modern interpretation of a fresh floral. Estee Lauder have so many perfumes from the past, which are like the original Beautiful, which are quite dated now in their smell, um, but this new release is totally modern, it smells nothing like original Beautiful and what I love about it is that it really lasts. So most fresh florals like this tend to not really last that long. This one really does, it's an eau de parfum, it's a good strength and it just smells pretty clean, feminine, innocent, like a fresh bouquet of flowers, fresh peonies, um, really pretty and elegant, um, not at all sexy or nighttime or anything and I think perfect for that sort of daytime family occasion. I think this would also be a great present for a mum, a grandma, you know, an aunt, um, because it's just a really lovely daytime scent. So next occasion is going to be a professional setting, perhaps a job interview or just being in the office. Perhaps you work in as a doctor or something like that where you want something professional but you still want to wear a perfume. I think my best recommendation for this is Narciso Rodriguez for her. Either the Eau de Toilette or the Eau de Parfum. I tend to prefer and recommend the Eau de Toilette which is the black bottle simply because it lasts a bit longer, it's a bit stronger which is totally unusual for an eau de toilette. But what I love about this fragrance is, again, it lasts really, really well, but it's like a clean, modern, powdery musk. But it's not stuffy, it's not old fashioned, and there's a bit of rose in there, but it comes across like super, super clean. I know someone that used to wear this in the office, and I just thought it was perfect for that setting, and that's kind of what inspired me to recommend it for this, because it just smelled clean, I could always smell it on her in the office, but it never felt inappropriate, too strong, too sweet, too sexy, whatever. It just smelled like beautiful, feminine, but clean and professional. It wasn't like flowery or anything. So I think any kind of personality, you don't, if you're looking for something that's not uber feminine, something that's more just neutral and clean, nice smell. I think the Narcissa Rodriguez for her are fantastic for that. And their lasting power is incredible. Mm. It just smells so clean. It's like a fresh sheet just out the laundry. So my next occasion is perhaps a exclusive high-end shopping day. Perhaps you're going around some fancy stores, perhaps you're going to make a big purchase or you're going to, I don't know, the races or something and it's just a high-end occasion and you want to smell expensive and classy. The Van Cleef & Arpels Collection Extraordinaire and my personal favourite is the Rose Rouge. So these are quite a high-end fragrance and Van Cleef & Arpels are a bit niche I'd say, they're an exclusive jewellery brand. And they have this Collection Extraordinaire, the bottles all look the same, different smells and I think they all smell really fancy and expensive and they are quite expensive it's about 100 pounds mm, but it to me this just smells really classy and if someone asked you what you're wearing you'd be like oh it's from the Van Cleef and Arpels collection extraordinaire you know <laughs> um it's strong it lasts 
and basically it's some of my favorite notes and mixed together so it's a rose with some deep fruity notes in we have black currant and raspberry but they're they're not sweet and light like a lemonade or something they're very deep and expensive smelling then we have this beautiful classy rose and then in the base you have some patchouli a little bit of vanilla and a little bit of cacao but slightly chocolatey and some pink pepper as well so it just creates this mysterious nice womanly expensive smell it just kind of smells like something I don't know like a Disney villain would wear like really intoxicating and cool um, but I love that it has that fruitiness in so this would be what I would go to it's definitely a bit of an investment piece but well worth it because it's really good quality so next occasion is perhaps the summertime it's quite warm outside and you're just going to go chill in the garden see friends you want something refreshing and summery I think the Omnia range from Bulgari are perfect for this occasion and I'm going to recommend this one which is called Omnia Coral but there's plenty of others and first of all they come in these cool bottles that's kind of like a shell and it's this lobster color color and it just really reminds me of summertime mm. and the smell here is hibiscus flower so a tropical flower water lily again tropical and then you have a bit of pomegranate and some bergamot but it's mainly that hibiscus flower so it smells really summery tropically but still quite classy and um, but it's a light fragrance it's an eau de toilette so it's not gonna overwhelm you on a hot day and then the bottles just make me smile they're fun um, pretty durable as well you could carry this around with you take it with you to top up and it's just a lovely fresh but still very feminine summertime perfume but I guess another occasion in the summertime perhaps is you're going on vacation somewhere really hot, really tropical, and you want something that just reminds you and sweeps you away to that vacation world. So it has to be Bronze Goddess from Estée Lauder, the ultimate vacation smell for me. This has coconut in, it has that like sun cream, suntan lotion smell. Mm, it just smells of holidays to me, like totally of holidays. This is the Eau Fresh version. There is an Eau de Parfum version, which is a bit heavier, really coconutty. Um, I think this is best for during the day because it's a bit lighter. But I totally associate the smell with vacation. Whenever I smell it, I'm immediately on a beach on vacation. And if you are feeling like treating yourself, of course you can splash out and get the, you know, bronzing powder, the body oils, everything that goes with this in the range. And then everything you have would be like smelling of bronze goddess and you'd just be this beach babe. So this is definitely the ultimate vacation perfume for me. Okay, so next occasion is date night, something a little bit sexy and mysterious. So for me, my ultimate date night perfume is Lancome Trezor's Midnight Rose. This is a syrupy, sexy cassis, um, like a deep, dark black currant. It's very much nighttime for me. Some people find this a bit too heavy. And if that's the case, then Lancome have another one called Dantel de Rose in their Le Nuit Trésor range. This only just came out this year for Valentine's Day. It has lace on it, so it's definitely a, you know, sexy date night perfume. These two do smell quite similar, but this one is a bit fresher, has some slightly more fresher berry notes in, not quite as heavy. Um, so if you like the smell of this but you find it too much then I'd try this new one but for me these are both really decadent sweet sexy perfumes I can imagine you know these being worn in the Moulin Rouge and that kind of heady sexy environment <laughs> so I love them and you can tell by the bottles right that they're made for that kind of occasion <laughs> if you are someone that likes spicy perfumes and heavier oriental perfumes then I'd say for date night the Chopin love Chopin perfume is great this is a modern spicy perfume it's really good value for money comes in this very heavy really nice expensive looking bottle and it's just a oriental mysterious spicy smell so if you're not into your sort of syrupy fruity scents that you like your spicy ones then definitely check this out this only just came out in the past few months 
My next occasion would be when it's really cold outside, wintertime, Christmassy vibes, by the fireplace. For me, I reach for the Dolce & Gabbana Pour Femme Intense. This is a heavy, deep, marshmallowy orange, and it just feels really warm, like toasting marshmallows on the fire. You get this deep, warm, cozy hug from the fragrance, and it's pretty good value for money. You can often get it discounted. There is a just normal Eau de Parfum version of this, which has that marshmallowiness, but I think the intense version is very much more for the winter. It has this deeper oranginess to it, whereas the Eau de Parfum has more of a fruitier raspberry to it. But this is definitely one we don't really hear about very much, but it's super cozy if you like those cozy marshmallow vibes. And then lastly, my recommendation for just every day, perhaps going to see your girlfriends, hanging out with friends, going to the shops, you want to smell modern, nice, um, I love Mon Perry from Yves Saint Laurent. I love the bottle, I love the smell, which is a rose, patchouli, and strawberry. So it feels feminine, but the patchouli sticks around, um, so it's not too sweet with the strawberry. It just sticks around, and really, I can rely on it to stay for hours and hours and hours. I can smell it on myself, so I feel like I'm wearing perfume. And to me, it just smells feminine, every day really nice for sure you could wear this into the evening i think you could wear it for work um even though it is quite sort of feminine -y, um with that patchouli in and the rose but it's just an all-round great perfume and when i'm not sure what to wear i tend to reach for this as well cool so that's it guys let me know what your recommendations would be for different occasions let me know in the comments down below but that's it so thanks so much for watching as always and i'll see you in the next video. Bye.